I look like Mickey Mouse. Uh huh. This is weird. And welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Beard Geek, always joined by Mikey the Freak. I'm hooking up the doll. Okay, okay. make sure it's a doll and not a miscal. Make sure it's the doll, not, not the miscal. And Steve, Steve is here as well. If you have not figured it out, we are reviewing the movie Weird Science. Just Weird Science? Figure it out. Yeah. But before we get into it, let's check out that trailer. Plastic tubes and pots and pans, bits and pieces of imagination <laughs> around my hand. We're making weird science. <laughs> Here Not we go. Not what said to do. Making dune just warm tissue, living flesh. Weird science. That's not a bad idea. What? Making a girl. Actually. It's live! This is Wyatt and Gary. I give her. Got Anthony Michael Hall right there. Yep. Yeah, weird science is on it. <laughs> More than a handful, you, you run the risk of spraining your tongue. She's alive. Alive. What would you little maniacs like to Love Robert Downey Jr. It's all in the name of science. Weird science. If you want to be a party animal, you have to learn to live in the jungle. Not us. Not here. No way. She is turning their lives. Trust me for once, will you? What is going on? Gary, I don't know. I don't can we just their keep minds. this between us? I'd hate to lose my teaching job. And their house. Upside down. It's seriously affecting your sex life. <laughs> it's completely unnatural. Do you realize it's snowing in my room? So, so we got to the end credits and my wife was like, Oh, I just realized Bill Paxton was in this movie. <laughs> they went from zeros. To heroes in one fantastic I think it was weekend. the voice from Ian Mitchell that just pictures presents oh, really I annoyed me the most. Weird I can't stand his voice. It's purely sexual. What are you talking about? Gary! <laughs> yeah, that's another. Yep. There you go. Weird science. Weird science. Love it. Love Plastic it. Plastic tubes and pots and pans. All right, Mikey the Freak, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this movie, please, sir? You saw it, man. It's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Two high school nerds use a computer program to literally create the perfect woman who promptly turns their lives upside down. So it's, the it's I don't know, I, I think it's the typical story of two nerds that have trouble getting girls and they're afraid to talk to girls, so they want to create their own, but they have computer savviness so they decide to frankenstein a female and uh they've got bullied you know they're they're bullied by you know their brother chet well wyatt's brother's chet uh which is played by bill paxson and um you know robert downing jr's those two are also bullies you know so they're they're nerds and they get bullied a lot so and then now they create this female, and she kind of gives them their popularity and their identity and g- ends up getting them drunk mm-hmm. at a bar, an all-black bar to be, <laughs> to be that, like a blues man. bar. Let me tell you something. And that man, was the, you know what she did, the man? stupidest <laughs> scene of him getting drunk. I should have mentioned it to him. I was like, you acted so stupid in that scene. <laughs> um, but, no, it was... It was just so, like, stereotypical drunkness. Mm-hmm. You know, how you just fall on the floor and talk stupid and talk out your ass and just don't have no means when you talk and that kind of stuff. But, yeah, so it just turns into an all-out uh, um, a party at their house. And, unfortunately, you know, they still don't have the balls to stand up to people, so... She creates a situation where these bikers come in and he has to stand up to them. And they did it because they thought the gun was a water gun. Um, but it ends up be- being a real gun. They're like, holy shit. So it made them a little bit more ego. And they end up getting the two girls, which was Robert Downey Jr.'s girlfriend. Him mm-hmm. and his friend's girlfriend. So 
Uh, so they end up getting the girls and become popular, and then they lose everything, and she go technically goes away, um, but ends up being a gym teacher at the end. Now they yeah. could have had a weird science too, uh, but it would have probably been the same concept. Yeah, I would imagine they so. Two nerds in the gym, but yeah, I mean it's it's an interesting movie. It's a typical '80s movie. Um, a lot of corny stuff. Doll up, holy shit! Haven't seen Doll up in a movie in a while. Um, so yeah, I mean it's is what it is. I didn't like Bill Paxton's character as the bully. I thought he went way over the top. It was way over the top. Yeah, very corny. But I think probably one of his first couple movies. Maybe. I believe. So, I mean, not 100% positive, but I think so. But, uh, Bearded Geek, uh, what do you think on uh, Rear Watch? So, again, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. And yeah. it's your typical teenage boys, horny, wanting wanting a girl and being too shy to actually get a girl. So, I mean, I, I, I'm sure at one point I was like, man, I wish I could create a girl to be mine. But, but when I was that young, because I was horned up too. I'm not gonna lie, I was horned up too. But yeah, it was. It's one of those things where it's. It, it's. I don't know, man. It was. It was too over the top. Everything was too over the top for me. Um, would I recommend it? Eh, not really. Like, I think if you like Anthony Michael Hall in his his '80s collection. He got real popular after yeah. the movie Breakfast Club and and uh, Pretty in Pink, Sixteen Candles. Um, so I think that um, if you're an Anthony Michael Hall fan, you might like this movie from him. But I it's will, definitely a watch yeah. if you're an Anthony Michael Hall fan. I, I'll, well, I'll say this is a movie that you could probably watch once and be done. You don't need to see it again. Kelly LeBrock was super hot in this movie, though. I'm not. I will say that she was amazingly hot. Um, but other than that. I mean, they turned Chet into shit, so it is what it is. Um, so, I don't know if it was shit or a toad or... Like, it looked like shit to me. I'm not gonna I don't know what the fuck he was supposed to be. But it, it was, it was one, shit. Yeah, it's one of those movies where it there were parts that were funny, but not enough to really keep you entertained throughout. And yeah. that is what I thought on rewatch. Uh, Steve... Sure. I'm sure Steve has an interesting take. Steve, <laughs> do you, Steve? Steve, what, what's your um, what's your take on first watch? Oh yeah, 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 man! I never got around to catching this one when I was like a teenager or a young adult, which I probably should have. Which I probably should have because I probably would have really enjoyed it. Uh, Steve is a 41 year old adult male. Uh, stopped this movie probably about 20 minutes in when they got to the bar. Um, after they made these bitches, and I was like, no, I can't. I just, I, I don't yeah. know. I'm familiar. Over the top stupidity. I'm more familiar <clears throat> with Weird Science, the TV series, which aired on the USA Network, uh, I believe, for two to three years, um, in which. My father watched the first episode and was convinced the actor playing Chet was the same actor from the movie. Bill Paxton did not reprise his role as Chet in the TV series. I never told my father that. Uh, Dad, it wasn't the same actor. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, for, so y'all, that... for some of y'all listening, his dad's in a box behind him. Yeah. Um, he's like dead. A, he's not just like in a box. Oh yeah, he's not he's just dead. sitting in a box like a like a toddler. And he I just have him tied up room. in a box <laughs> like a gag. He's a dad in a box. Uh, Mikey the Freak, <laughs> what would you actually rate this movie? Oh, you know what? I mean, like I said, it was it was fun. I think when I was younger watching the movie, um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a four. I mean, just because, I mean, the biggest thing that really gives it more of a pop is Kelly LeBrock. Mm. And I think that that fantasy that not that you could create a female, but like someone like she's almost like a genie. They created a genie because she could do anything she wanted to without wishes. It's just she just had powers. But the, one of them drove a Ferrari. Why it drove a Porsche? Yeah. 
You know, I mean, shit, you could create vehicles and create cars or create anything you want. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I you mean, can it's freeze a solid the grandparents. Form. You can freeze the grandparents. <laughs> yeah, it freeze it turn their fucking kitchen blue. <laughs> <laughs> and turn my brother into a piece of shit. Yep. He don't watch this or listen to this shit anyway, so it's <laughs> fun. But yeah, I think on, re- or on rewatch, I would grade this. I think I'd grade it a five, kind of right in the middle. It's one of those yeah. movies that I, 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 I remember fondly because I was younger. I remember it fun more fondly as I was younger. Rewatch, I kind of grew up, matured a little bit, and just kind of like, what the fuck am I watching? So yeah, it's um, <laughs> what the fuck? Am I watching? Yeah, it's right in the middle. Uh, Kelly LeBrock's good. It's an over the top movie. It's not horrible, but it's not, it's not freaking. Great, Watch it once and means. done. Yeah. Well, it's a one and done. done. So five right in the middle. And that's with the boob bumps. So yeah, right in mm-hmm. the middle. Um, Steve, what would you rate your 20 minutes? Step one, <laughs> cut a hole in the box. <laughs> Step two, put that dad in a box. <laughs> Step three, make her open the box. Um, it's I, it, a star, uh, one. I, I, yeah. I, I don't I don't know. Based off of the TV series, I'll say a three. All right. Like Close combine the cause cause like I have fond memories of the TV show, but not enough to boost up the movie itself. Um so I don't know, three stars out of ten since so one how, out of ten, not five. Like I never watched I might have watched maybe a couple episodes. Because uh, I do remember the television show, just not mm-hmm. not vaguely enough to recall like the actors or actresses. But like, so comparing, where does this compare to the movie? Is it directly they they from the movie? To, they, they didn't go to a bar and get drunk. And the the guy playing <laughs> playing um, not Wyatt, but the other one mm-hmm. uh, yeah. didn't didn't Gary. didn't. Yeah, Gary. Uh, it, I don't know, man. Like it, the the TV show. Uh, it was more toned down because first of all, it was television. Right, uh, yeah. But second of all, uh, like it, it wasn't, it was the nineties. It was the mid nineties now or the early nineties instead of the eighties. So you had a decade of humor change. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I don't remember a lot about the TV show. I remember liking the TV show. It was my introduction to Vanessa Angel uh, then again, through. that could be the same with us. You know, the TV show could have been bad because we remembered Weird Science being good, and we watched it, and it's not. <laughs> so yeah, but in the same respect, in the same respect, it, it once again goes back not to go on like a whole side tie tribe, but it once again goes back to the catching a movie at the right point in your life. Yeah, like no, that's fair. Like brain, right, like brain donors. Like yeah. I know brain donors is a bad movie. But I still love it because I was at an age where that movie was like hilarious. Like I've talked about me being on Letterboxd. Like a lot of people shit on the Lady Killers from the Coen Brothers. I love that movie. That movie has like a one point five, like a like a two point, like a two two star mm-hmm. average, and that's like a four for me. I and and on that I said, I guess you just have to see the certain movie at the right point. It's one of those ones where like all the stars have to line up correctly mm-hmm. in order for you to truly appreciate a masterpiece for what it is. Cause it's always like the saying says one man trash is another man's treasure. Whereas I think this movie is trash and I really didn't enjoy it, which really bums me out because I'm a big John Hughes fan. Right. Yeah. Someone is going to absolutely love this movie. Like, so like there are people that for some reason, weird science is their like number one movie of all time. Like instead of the blues brothers, someone has like the poster, like of the two guys in between the, you know what I mean? Like, so it's all about perspective and it's all about catching it at the right point in your life. Uh, And for me with this movie, I just didn't catch it at the right point in my life. Uh, I I forget where we were going. Was I the last thing I looked at? I looked at the cast for the television show, and the only person I recognize is Vanessa Angel. The brother that played Chet uh, has bit parts in movies, but the other big thing that he did is he was on the HBO TV show Oz. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't okay. remember. He played, he played Tobias. Gotcha. All right. Well, I got some interesting facts about this movie. Okay. So, Steve, here you go. 
Um, John Hughes wrote the script in only two days. So that may be why you didn't like it. It was kind of thrown together. Uh, Sherman High School is also the name of the high school in The Breakfast Club. Yes. Uh, yeah, Sher- Shermer's, Illinois is, is a place that he made up. Yeah. Kelly LeBrock initially turned down the role of Lisa as she was vacationing in France at the time and was having too much fun riding horses on the beach. Probably topless. Um, so that is all. <laughs> Still that in there. Yeah. So that is your fun facts. God, 35th time. <laughs> Took him long enough. Oh, well, I'm not watching you when I'm reading my facts, bro. I'm, I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> but uh, what do we have for Keep soundtrack? Firing, on this assholes. Movie? I'm sorry, were you asking for soundtracks or connected for or, or related reels? Soundtrack. Ah, You're boy, next. here we go. <laughs> Weird Science by Oingo Boingo. Turn It On by Kim Wilde. Deep in the Jungle by Wall of Voodoo. Turbu- Tubular Bells. Party. By Mike Oldfield, Tesla Girls, by Orchestral Monrovius in the Dark, Oh Pretty Woman, wow. by Van Halen, Private Joy, by Sh- Shanai, Wanted Man, by Rat, Don't Worry Baby, by Los Lobos, Forever, by Taxi, Method to My Madness, by the New, by the Lords of the New Church, 80s, by Killing Joke. Why Don't Pretty Girls Look at Me by Wild Men of Wonga, Nervous and Shaky by the Del Fuegos, The Circle by Max Carl, Tenderness by General Public, Do Not Disturb, Knock Knock by The Broken Homes, Theme from Rocky performed by Bill Conti, and The Magic Flute Overture, Uncredited by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And oh, that, uh-huh. and that is your related reels. Um, I could have read, yeah, right. you tell us a little bit. <laughs> I told you guys it was a long fucking <laughs> list. <laughs> Mikey the Freak, what do you have for related? That was reels, huge. So? Oh yeah, That's so what uh, she said. Anthony Michael Hall, like I showed you on my wall, uh, Breakfast Club, the show, The Dead Zone, uh, which I really enjoyed him in, um, and Halloween Kills. He was in the recent Halloween movies. Uh, Halloween dies tonight. No, <laughs> yeah, I, it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. Um, Suzanne Snyder, which was a girlfriend, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, one of her biggest roles, I think. Uh, she's in Fools Rush In, uh, as well as Return of the Living Dead Part Two. So uh, and then Bill Bill Paxson, what what was that face for? Well, because you said you liked Halloween Kills. Is that the one we watched together? Because I remember us distinctly hating that movie. Yeah, it was terrible. I really <laughs> like any of the new ones. It was Anthony Michael Hall. I enjoy him in that, not the hey, movie. Yeah. Okay. It's different. He had those big-ass Halloween Kills posters that you could get autographed. And I'm just like, nope. Nope. <laughs> You're not signing that for me. He's I, like, I can't for give him away. <laughs> <laughs> no. Big eight, a big huge pre with poster. any purchase. Yeah. I'll sign it as well. Can't get rid of it. It's like the uh, Cuddy Stark of movie posters. And then uh, uh, Bill Paxson, of course, um, Titanic, uh, Twister, and Aliens. There you have it. He loved James Cameron. Yes, yes. Why, who wouldn't? Um, if you have seen this movie, Leave a comment down below and make sure while you're there, make sure you give us a good old thumb and hit that like, subscribe, do all the YouTuber things, please. Make sure you check out the sister channel to back to a retro review, the Mod Squad Network, where we have a horror show, movie show, gamer show, conversations, and we go live every Saturday with a giveaway. All right. Yep, yep. That, that does it for this episode of Back to the Retro Review. Uh-huh. So for Mikey the Freak and Steve, I am the Bearded Geek saying, if we don't see you again, thank you for being a friend. See ya. Cowabunga, dude.